Good morning, Pisces. How are you doing this morning? How are you doing? Pisces, thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who donate, get private readings, and thank you for all those who go onto my web and purchase my items, my spiritual items, my oils, my candles, my jewelry. Oh my God, so much that you can get, and these oils are the best, and let me tell you, I don't go without them, okay? No, I don't. Now, I can't never get my uh, lighter to be here, so I wish I could light it up. The um, uh, Palo Santo and all of that. So, let's see what the spirits have to say to you. Let's see. All right, let's get this popping. It is cold, cold, cold outside right now. Cold. All right, spirits. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Okay, that's over well, here it is. All right, the first card you got is within the next few months. Perfect timing and no. All right, here we go. Within the next few months, that's already happened. Perfect timing. Perfect timing is like time is starting and it's saying that you got all the time. This is the perfect time when things are happening for us. And this is the time where God is saying, wait on me, honey. And whatever decision you made that you may be feeling that in one way it worked for you and not the other, hold on, baby, hold on. Don't give up now. This is not the time for you to give up. You understand? Okay, now you got the Knight of Pentacles. So you may be feeling like everything is it's some things, but everything is not moving for you. Maybe you feel like, um, that's better. Maybe you, you feel like, you know, everything is not moving for you. But maybe you quit your job. Maybe you doing projects. Maybe you, um... You know, everything just slowed up a little, right? But it's it's a definite plan. You know what I mean? You it's the night of pinnacles, which is that money is there no matter what. All right. Maybe you don't feel like it's moving. Maybe your plans are not moving, or you made plans, you know, uh, maybe you chose a plan, but maybe it, it was good on one but not good on the other. But it that means you still gotta sit still. So Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And it says, with check it out, within the next few months, your shit's going to be popping all the way around. And don't give up. All right? It's because it's like you, you have to make a choice. And maybe you didn't like your job and you quit your job. Or you, um, maybe, uh, you know, you open a store or you have to choose or you cut some hours off in your job to start your own business. Maybe your business... You open up a business and things is not moving the way you thought it would move. Or maybe, um, you know, you God is saying just hold on. Or maybe you're making some type of herbs for somebody and or doing herbs, but it's not ready for you to put out. It's something that's saying everything is there, but hold on, okay? You gotta hold on. Um on this card here, also, you got a uh, food car, perfect timing, perfect timing for you to take a leap of faith. And the thing about it is, it, when I, you know, when you see that car, right, you see that car that's telling you, um, you don't, the only thing you got in your back is what you have. It's, you ain't taking a whole lot with you. You taking a leap with just what you got. And now, does it seem like you got a lot? No. Because, look at this. You, 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 you're taking a leap of faith, right? And only thing you got is what's in that bag, right? The thing about it is you're jumping off, and you know for a fact that um, you got a rose, and you're handing a rose to someone because you got a rose here, a ro and you got a white rose, pure tint. Very pure. This is pure, pure goodness. 
And you take it, and that sun is shining so bright on you. And you got this, even a dog is like trying to get your alert. And the dog is white. And the sun is the yes. And the, the white flower, the pureness of your uh, innocence. Like you taking a leap on this. Okay? And you taking just what you got on your back. And that's what you're doing. It's like whatever it is that you want, you just, what, or whatever it is that someone is coming to you with, right? What they have is exactly what they have. They're not, they don't have, they're taking a leap of faith, but what they come to you is exactly what, what they have, okay? And like I said, your heart is gold, but everything around you, right? Everything around you is can be taken away. Now you heard about the storm that um with that storm that hit. I mean it damn near wiped the face of that whole town. But then you got your your who you are. And inside of you, in spite of everything you got, the lady said she just rebuilt a house, she had a car, everything was destroyed. And that's what I say to you. But you standing there giving your testimony to somebody. That, that storm was so devastated that it wiped everything you had. But guess what? What you don't realize is that you're standing there giving your testimony saying, I am alive. Do you understand that everything around you, everything around you doesn't mean nothing. It's, it's, the, it's, it's the, 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 the richness in your heart that counts. It's not what it is outside of us. It's what's inside of us. Do you understand? It's what's inside of you. Because like, like the spirit says, when you die, you don't take anything with you. But your spirit, everything else is left. So you're taking, is somebody here taking a leap of faith, right? Towards you. And they may not have a whole lot to offer you, but they taking that leap of faith, right? And they coming to you with just what they got. And that's exactly what they're doing. But the thing about it is, within the next few months, your money will be popping off. Your business, your career, that plan that you wanted to execute will pop off. And then you got somebody here coming to you. Pure, natural, pure as they can be with you. Maybe you think they ain't got a lot to offer you, but that son is saying they damn sure do. You wait and see because it's perfect timing for everything. Now, in this, it says, no, right? It's that key to a door that's saying, you got a lot to offer, Pisces. A lot in front of you. But it's saying to you, just relax. Take it easy. You know, don't rush anything, right? Take your time and see everything, the, the, the everything that you have in front of you. Um... Because with that Knight of Pentacles, you get to Seven of Cups, making many choices. And somebody here got the choice that coming towards you that says, you got God. And if, like I always say, if I got to pick pick any, the, any one of these cups, I pick God. I don't pick nothing. And I'm going to keep saying that to y'all. I'm going to say this. This ain't no Bible study. This ain't no church. This is real Real deal here. What I'm telling you is spirit. It's the spirit above me that speaks to me. And they say, tell them what it is. Open up their eyes to see that we are in that time of the ages. That things are right in front of you. And if you don't believe in it, you need to see what's around you. You understand? Somebody here is looking at everything, and out of everything that stands out here big is God and this woman. And this person is very spiritual that's coming towards you. Very spiritual. And you're going to make a change in the world because when you choose to write, when they choose you, it's like they choose God. It, 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 they go about what they believe in, and when they... They go by what God says and then they choose you and everything else falls right into place and things start moving. They start moving for you, right? You know, because it's somebody here that's, you know, saying, 
yeah, I, I want to invest in Pisces, right? But I got to make sure because this person is just as spiritual as you are, right? And I got to make sure I choose what I believe in before I choose Pisces. Even though you may be spiritual, right? Everybody has their way of looking at you, all right? And they got to be sure it is, sure. And this person comes to you with purity. And I always say it's that glass slipper out there that only fits you and nobody else. Nobody can wear your slippers. Nobody can fit the shoes that this person is looking for but you. But they got to make sure that you are right, all right? And all the things that they're giving you. Right, now look at this. Now normally you see the sword, right? And look at this. And it's, um, it usually is taking you to uh, another place in your life. Now this person is saying, I want to take you across. Do you believe in me? Do you believe that I can get you across? Can you trust in me that I can move us across to a better place that you never been to? That you never been to? It's that glass shoe that's fitted just for you. And somebody wants to move on. And with the Six of Swords, usually it shows you moving on. But here is a man that wants to move you and your family on. And you like saying, did I make the right choice? Right? Because you are all up in your feeling. But they say, God says, and it's good looking that way, which is a good thing. It's saying, listen to me. Everything is going to go right. And everything may seem to you like it's a little scared because you, you sit on this boat. And I'm going to say, normally it shows you moving over. But I feel like somebody wants to take you and your kids or you to where you're going to feel right in your life. This person is going to be very overprotective for you. Do you understand? want to take you there. They got to make sure everything is right because they want to move you to a place you ain't never been. Uh, and it's not only a place, but in your space. It's not about the material world. It's about where you are at, where you're happy, where you're comfortable, where you are secure with your richness in yourself. See, self-richness is, is more powerful than what the, what the material world gives you. Because if you rich in your heart. And, and you pure in your heart. And that's where you be rich. Everything around you becomes rich. That means everything you get. Everything you want. Because that's what God does. So he is somebody here that wants to come to you. And you make that person has money. That person already got a plan. But that person is coming to you with just. For you to see him just as he is with nothing. Okay? You may look at him and you may think he has nothing, but he has a lot to offer you. Then you got this cup, big ass cup that you keep saying, oh no, I don't know if I want to give it to him. Oh no, because he looks like this and he looks like he ain't got shit. Or the way he lives and he don't have everything I want. Maybe this person don't drive. Maybe this person has a good job, but they don't drive. Or, or they don't live the way you think a normal person lives. You know what I mean? But this person's going to surprise you because this person also sitting on that pinnacle and saying, I ain't going to just run a gift. Give this real quick. This person must be dark. He might be dark, tall. He may be different from you, different culture, right? Um, different beliefs. But here you see that he chooses God and God is bigger than all. And it's the sun card. And then the next big old cup is you and everything else around it. Is what it is, what you see every day in life. But you move it. This person wants to move you to six of swords as you move it to a better place. And that's what that person wants to do. That person, you may be not, you may be not even have kids from this person. This person is the one that wants to make you and your kids happy. This person wants to take you where you never been. And you've been in a lot of situations because I see nothing but clouds. Okay, but look how strong this person is. And look how little that boat is. That boat is big enough for you to sit with your child and that man to stand up. That man ain't got no room for him 
to sit down. That man is standing up controlling this boat. Standing up. Balancing. Moving you forward. Right? And you're sitting there like, okay, I got to see if I want to take a leap of faith, right? But let's see what else comes. Tell me, Spirit, what else we need to know. Tell me, Spirit, what else we need to know. Because you feel defensive. You feel defensive. You got this wall up. And it's like this person been through a lot. This person here been through a lot. This person wants to take you there. But this person want to make sure, or you, feeling like, I've been through a hell of a lot, and I've been hurt before, okay? And I don't know what to trust, but this person, trust and believe, he wants to take you there. He's going to be very overprotected over you. When I mean very overprotected, very overprotected over you, okay? He knows you've been through a lot. He's been through a lot. But he's going to be very overprotective. And you see this. You see it. And you see it here. Whoever this person is that's coming into your life, he's going to be extremely overprotective. Over who? Over you. Over your kids. Over Just over you, period. Because this person knows what they want. And you may think shit ain't right, but shit is perfectly right with them. All right? You may have everything you want, and that person may not have nowhere near what you have because you ain't seeing it. But that person got way more than you think, okay? Your eyes will deceive you because you believe what you see, but you have to believe what's in your heart, what's the richest in your heart. And you don't know how rich a person is until you, until you take that chance, you know? Look at this. Look at this shit. You got the Queen of Pentacles and the Musician. The Queen of Pentacles and the Musician. And here you got the Fool is your major, which came first. And then you got the Queen. So the Fool is like you, you take an action. Look at this. This came just like this. And then remember you got that, that Knight of Pentacles, which is sitting there with your money. Now look at you. And look, so once you once you decide to make a move with a person that you never really thought, right? Now you're ready to make a move, and then everything will pop off for you. Because this fell right together. Then you, then you got all the tools to make that happen. So high is below, so low is below, right? So it's the yes and the no. And I'm teaching y'all that. Which way do I go, right? The here and the now, right? Okay? The past and the future, right? God and the devil. You must decide which way to go. You can't fear. You can't fear it. You got to move forward to it. Even though you may not know what's there, somebody want to take you there. Someone, somebody got all the tools to make everything happen. And it's like, they look at you as that queen of pentacles as having it all, right? As having everything. But that musician is there that is definitely every tool you got to make this work. And it will work. You got to just do it by faith and follow what's in your heart, which is the riches before anything on this world. It's all material. But when you go through your riches inside of you, you gain it all. Because now you are really living in your truth. And see, people don't know how to live in their truth. And I'm going to say it again. That storm they hit and wiped everybody's shit off, that's right there. shows you. It could be you. It could be you thinking you living good. You got the perfect job. And God will come and, and demolish all that shit to make you feel like you thought you had it all. You thought that you was better than a person that don't got it all, right? Or you thought you had everything and God takes it away from you and then guess what you do? You go back to that person that you thought that didn't have shit and that person is the one that's giving you the roof over your head until you get back on your feet and then everything starts exploding because you cannot ever say or ever think 
that you got it all right. Because God will come and take everything, will make you humble and still, and then you know that you're rich in your heart and not in that material world. And that is what my YouTube is about. It's about growth and on your journey. This ain't my YouTube, ain't nobody playing no games. It's about your worth. And I talk to you exactly the way I see you. I don't sugarcoat shit. If it ain't right, it ain't right. If you're in a dark place, you're in a dark place. You understand? Why you think I'm wearing black? Because I got to go within myself. Okay? I need to go in myself. I need to search myself. I need to know where I'm at, what I want, and which way I'm moving. Right? Because someone else, or because I see someone else like, I'm here and I got it all, and they don't have like well, everything I got. I don't know what that person really got. I don't know what that person really is about. Why? Because I see where I'm at and not really where they at. Oh, I see the surface of what I see with my pure eyes. But I really don't know how rich that person is within their heart. Right? Because I'm looking at the material, the real shit, not, not what's in their heart. And that's what's crazy. And somebody here wants to take you to a whole nother place. You ain't never been and got more shit than you ever had. And you can't see it. Why? Because they not living like you can see it. Ain't that crazy? Oh my God. Tell me more about this Six of Swords. Tell me more about this Six of Swords. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Six of Swords. Look at this. I love this. Two people that are meant to be together. The thing is, we don't realize that it comes within your heart. And you may see a person that they don't, they don't live like you or very different than you. Um, like you saying like that their car is fucked up, how they live is fucked up, like they don't have a, all this shit because you have it all. And I'm saying that to you because I see it in myself. Right? Do you understand? But guess what? First thing I need to know is that God says, rich comes from your heart. It don't come from the material world. It comes from your heart. Because when you're rich in your heart, everything you want will come to you. And that's what I'm saying. You understand? How many times we met people that we go and we be like, ah, I'll never be with that. Or, uh-uh, they look, uh-uh, they don't even look like, live like I do. Or, that person got too many baggage. Or, so much about this whole situation that it just doesn't, you feel like you, it don't fit you. But it's not that you better than them. It's because your eyes in the material world is not the way you see it. But that's the way they see it because they comfortable on how they live. You can't. Make somebody be who you want them to be or look at them the way you want them to see how they live. You, honey, let me say something, y'all. You know, I lived in an efficiency. They had a kitchen, a living room, and a dining room all together. And, for the, and I had a, a bathroom. Most efficiency don't even have a bedroom, right? They have everything, kitchen, bathroom, everything in one room. But God, then, and that was back then, God gave me my efficiency with one bedroom, living room, dining room, kitchen, all in one, right, and a bathroom separate. And I never even noticed that to right now. But I may not have shit, because it was me and my son. But guess what? That's what I could afford, and that's the way I was living. All right? And anybody that came to my house, I may, I still made it a happy home. I may not have had it all, but I had what I could afford. I may not, if somebody came in my house and said, damn, you living like that? They never said it, but their eyes wonder, right? And they said, mm. But somebody that know me know that that was home to them too when they came over. They didn't judge me, but others did. And that's the way it is with us. I feel like you judging, right, someone else for how they live, what they look like, what they got, what they don't got, right? 
And you say, now that person ain't for me. But you probably miss on that pot of gold. Or maybe that person got a lot of shit. Maybe that person drinks a lot, smoke a lot. You know, just party, whatever it is. All right? Because whatever pattern you're looking at, you're going to see it. You're going to see this pattern because you can't change who somebody is. Everyone in the world got a habit. Everyone. I don't give a fuck what kind of habit it is. Okay, you can't change people. You got to set people for where they at and what they got. Because you don't even know, honey, that person probably got more than you will ever have. Now check this out. You are on the dis dispense mode. You saying no to everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got my hand up. Again, to nine of wands. Oh, no. Again, everything is like no, 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 no. Right? This person can give you everything, but it's no, 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 no. Because you're just on self-defense mode, and that's all you see. You got to come out of this. You got to come out of this situation. Okay? It's like, who's after me? Who's against me? Somebody's always after me and somebody's trying to... This just you standing there hurting over everything. All right? But then look look at this shit. Look at this shit. Again, I'm going to say it again. If you don't stop putting this big old wall in front of you, you're going to miss out on this. Now you got the king, the queen of pentacles, and the king of pentacles, a couple. And both of y'all looking at each other. So you start, you need to start thinking, literally thinking. Now one person may have a lot of cats around, and then this person got a lot, got dogs, got a, a, a farm, honey, a whole big ass farm with all kinds of animals. It's like, it's like two people making a better world and changing the world in many ways. And you don't even see it, okay? And this person got just as much as you do, but you think this person don't got shit. Because what you see is what you believe. All right? I mean, you can meet a person to treat you like shit, but then you can meet a person that... Uh, treat you like gold but that person that treats you like gold ain't good enough and the person that treats you like shit is everything does that make any sense all right come on let's find out let's let's find out more i want to find out a little bit more tell me tell me a little bit more all right so then you get look it says space space is everything look at this look at this Look at this space. Space is everything. And that's your home. That's everything that you, this is you, right? And it says, the quality of your life has more to do with what you remove from your life. Then what you add to it, the quality of your life has more to do with what you remove from your life. Then what you add to it, what you remove, then what you add to it, right? Give yourself a gift of space. Give yourself that gift of space. And sometimes that's what you feel. You feel like you, you have to get space. And all of these, oh my God, too many cards came out. Okay, it says move, right? Move. Move, right? It says the long walk is good for your soul. Get outside. And allow Mother Nature to lift your spirit. Get outside and take that walk. Get some of that sun. Get some of that sun, that radiant from the sun. It's the yes. All right? So it seems like right here you, you wanted space. Now you're making a move. You're moving along. But you need to take walks. You need to get some air. You need time to think. Right? And it says because why this month you got a lot of stuff going on. And it says, look at this, get comfortable. You're probably working too much, doing too much, right? The quality of your life, it determines by how you spend your time. Make sure your schedule reflects the life you want. So the quality of time is the way you spend your life. And make sure the your schedule, right, 
it's reflecting your life. So don't put too much on your schedule where you're not making time for you. Working yourself to death. Now it says self-worth. Self-love. Look at that cake. Self-love, right? And this looks like maybe it's Valentine's Day. All right? All right? It says, why settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal? Why settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal? Love yourself first. Love yourself first and your self-worth, right? Let me tell you something. You can have it all. I just feel like somebody here needs to make time for walks, nurture, just time for exercise and take time for yourself, right? But it's saying, don't settle for anything, all right? And I just feel like on this card, why settle for crumbs when you deserve the whole meal? Don't give a lot of yourself first, baby. You know what's weird? Look at this. This person right here has a cake in their hand, and it's the king of pentacles. You see that? You can't make that shit up. A cake. A cake and wine. You can't make that shit up. So this person's saying, shit, I know I deserve more. And why am I going to settle for somebody that don't want to give me more when I can have it all? That person's saying that, right? Peace. Look at that. All right? Just because some people are full by drama doesn't mean that you have to attend and perform and make a performance. Make your life as drama-free zone. So this person don't like drama. This person is not into the drama. So if you want to bring drama to them, they ain't into that drama. They at peace. They like, nah, we ain't, we ain't got room to be on no damn stage. All right? Now, change course. When you change course, and I'm going to say something to you. When you change a course and stop feeding your eyes and go rich in your soul, change a course. All right? It's somebody here that they, they, they see you like having it all. And they may not have it all. Maybe you think this person ain't got shit. But let me tell you something. They not into no drama. And they want to make sure that they don't want to settle for crumbs. They don't want to settle for the bullshit and the drama that we come with. Right? Because they not like that. They, just because you think they ain't got shit or they don't, they're not up to your level. That don't mean shit. Because God comes in the rags. He don't come in the riches. When did you see God come in the, in the riches? Every story in the Bible says God comes with rags. But his heart is the riches. And anything he touched turns to gold. Did you hear what I said? God don't come with no all this, uh, this, all this money and houses and cars and mansions. God is rich in his soul because he's, he's in rags, right? But anything he gives you turns to gold. And that's what God is saying. Something here that you look like a rag, that you feel like they a rag, honey, they so rich and they so they powerful. They can get anything they want. And that's what God is saying. Change your course. A, door, a closed door is an invitation for a life to move in, in an event better. Where well, you're going to be better with the, um, the, um, where it's telling you that this way is the way to go, right? A better direction is time to um, change your course. And I don't know, baby, you got keys here. You better start making up your mind because if you can't change the way you think and the way you see things and people, I'm going to say it one more time. One more time. God does not walk around in any Bible with riches all over the place. All this money hanging off of him. All these diamonds and pearls hanging off of him. All of everything, you never know what God, come on now, 
Where you see in any Bible that says God came with all of these riches and all this stuff, like he was driving big old planes and, you know, you seen him flying on planes, you seen him a, a bil being a billionaire, like you know that he didn't, no, he didn't do that. He wasn't like that. Where did it say he was like that? It said he was rich in himself. His heart was the richest of all. And anything he touched turned to gold. Because let me tell you, he was rich inside of him. Even the, the people that was the richest in the world, they had the mansions and everything they had. Right? They was the one that God battled. Right? Because that was the one that crucified him. Right? They were the one that was looking for him to crucify and the people that had the money and all these mansions and the power because they thought it was powerful than God. And God was just all, no, looking, he had nothing to say that he was all rich. He had nothing. He had nothing. But also, remember one thing, he may not have had nothing, but he had all the tools because he made everything happen for all of us. And anything he touched turned to gold. And he always look at, and it tells you how he he walked by somebody that was a whore in the street and forgave her. A thief, the devil, everybody was after him. But he changed people's lives like nobody has ever done. And he still do it today. But why don't he do it for all? You know why he don't do it for all? Because your heart is not rich. It's the outside of you that's rich that you see things. See, you got to see things. You got to see what people got, how people live for you to love them. If they're lower than you, you don't want to be with them. But it's funny how you don't want to be with somebody that shows that part, right? But you want to be with somebody that ain't shit. That wants, you know they ain't nothing. That, that's the person you want to give your all to. You got to make up your mind. Because this right here is serious. Very serious. You got to look at things in a different way because you don't know. You don't know if that person that you close your doors to, that, that, that you've been, even though they may not have the best of the best, but they welcome you with all respect. Right? It's like we always find something in a person to not to like them. But then we like the person here to treat us like shit and we like. So watch out what you do because you're going to lean and you, you're missing out on your blessings because you thinking one thing when it's another. All right? Tell me what Pisces need to know. You become more attracted when you live in the moment. Somebody here is two different people that believes in different uh, beliefs. They got different beliefs in different spiritual path. So maybe you do tarot card and this person believes not in tarot, but he believes in something in his own uh, beliefs. Uh, maybe they from different cultures. But it says here, this is your soulmate. And things is different, but that person loves you. So... You got to watch how you judge people and what you say and how you see people. Because God comes in many short forms and shapes in different ways. He ain't going to come looking like he's rich. He ain't going to come giving you a putting in your face and saying, I'm the rich man. No, you have to learn that God comes in a poor way, not in a rich way. But his heart is so rich that anything he touched turns to gold, damn it. Oh, Lord Jesus, somebody's being preached to. Maybe it's me that I, God is saying, Lisa, stop playing, baby. Somebody here. Oh, look at this. You have to go within yourself, a child. This child is innocent, doesn't know too much of nothing. Just an innocent soul. Look at this. A family room. One, you know, it's somebody innocent coming to you. That wealth, sudden wealth. Can I say that? Sudden wealth. Battling. Stop battling this. Stop trying to fight this thing. This person is so tired of fighting. You know, look at this wealth. Wealth came out two times, damn. Wealth, son and wealth, and a wealthy man. Are you kidding me? You better stop judging people. 
You better stop seeing people like you better than them. And I don't mean to say Pisces, you better. But like you looking at this person like this person can never mount up to what you got because you, ooh, I feel this to stay in my ear again. It's in my ear. It's speaking to me. A lot of y'all coming into awakening. Do you know what awakening is? Huh? You know what it's, it's waking you up to see things in a reality world and not in a, you know, in, in, in a spiritual world, not into this reality world. I'm sorry. Because you, you kind of confusing the reality world with the spiritual world. You can't confuse the spiritual world with the reality world because you would never, ever gain what you're supposed to gain. Because you're seeing things in a way that it's not supporting you. Because you're feeding your eyes before your soul. Your soul is pure, is, is poor and your eyes is rich. But until you feel like your soul and you come into your soul and you gain the richness of your soul, that's when you gain the richness that you're supposed to get in the world. But you got to be rich in your soul before you can be rich in the world. And that's the problem. You live in the material world and you think that your world is so much better than that person's world. And it's not. Actually, their world is better than yours because they live with the richness in their heart. They richer than you will ever be. Do you understand? Because your world is material world and their world is richness in their heart and what they believe in. You got that? If you need a private reading, get it from me or somebody else. Stop fighting this battle and stop it because you can have nothing and they can have it all. It can be a storm and it can rip up everything around you. But guess what? That person's house, that person's little box, that person's whatever they call home is standing there and your mansion is fucking gone. Just like that. So when you knock on that person's door... Or you go to that person, whatever they live in, how they live in, you're going to think they real rich because you ain't got shit no more. And they shit is still standing. Do you understand? And I'm talking about everything, whether you work, whether you got a good job, whatever it is, a big old house, all these, co whatever it is, that you think that your world is so perfect. And I don't mean perfect, I'm talking about in the material world. You got everything this person don't have. You fucking wrong, baby. Because this person is rich inside of them. And it's something you would never gain because you don't know what it is, Pisces. But you will gain it because you're going to learn a lesson. And it's going to purify your damn heart for eternity. You understand? You got to stop feeling like everything around you is trying to hurt you. Or they Listen, I'm the first to tell you this. I don't play. I'm the first to tell you this. I've always walked with the shield. Like now what? Well, now what they doing, right? But I always seem to walk away when or build some. But see, the thing is, you you used to building people. But this person, you ain't got to build this person. This person is living how they live. This person ain't asking you too much. This person live how they live. They may not have a car. They may not have everything you got. But this person still living. How they live. Not to your means, to their own means. All right? Pisces, if you need a reading from me, get it from me or someone else. I'll talk to you later. Bye.